Welcome to Technical Studies. In this lesson, we'll look at the tools and equipment used in piping fabrication. Whether you work in a fabrication shop or on site, these are the tools that help you mark, cut, bevel, fit up, weld, and inspect every spool correctly. Let's begin. Measuring and marking tools. First, let's start with measuring and marking tools. These are the foundation of accurate fabrication. Steel tape and steel rule for measuring pipe lengths. Vernier caliper and micrometer for checking diameters and thickness. Tri square and right angle to ensure pipe ends are square. Marking chalk, scriber, and punch for marking cut lines and tangent points. Center head and protractor for finding angles and centers on pipes. Remember, accurate marking is the first step to avoid waste and misalignment. Cutting tools. After marking, comes cutting. Pipes can be cut using different machines depending on thickness and material. Gas cutting set, oxyacetylene. For CS pipes and plates. Cold cutting machine or pipe cutter. For SS pipes where heat is not allowed. Portable band saw, for precision cuts and sight adjustments. Grinding machine, for finishing and edge smoothing. Beveling and edge preparation. Once cut, each pipe end must be beveled as per WPS, welding procedure specification. Beveling machine or end prep machine for smooth, uniform angles. Hand grinder for small adjustments and deburring. Files and emery paper for final cleaning. Typical bevel angle is 37.5 degrees plus or minus 2.5 degrees, and the root face is 1.5 millimeters for but weld joints. Fit up tools and alignment aids. After preparation, pipes and fittings are brought together for fit up. Pipe clamps or chain clamps for holding pipes during alignment. Wedges and spacers to maintain root gap, usually 1.5 to 3 mm. Right angle and spirit level to check squareness and level. Piano wire or laser alignment tool for long spools. Tack welding machine for temporary locking of joints. Fit up accuracy directly affects the final weld quality and dimensional tolerance. Welding equipment. Welding is the heart of fabrication. Common welding processes and machines. SMAW, shielded metal arc welding. Used for CS and SS piping. GTAW, TIG welding. For root passes and SS jobs needing high quality. MIG or FCAW machines. For high production shop spools. Welding generators, rectifiers, provide stable arc. Electrode ovens and quivers, keep electrodes dry and ready. Proper current settings, electrode storage, and joint cleanliness are key to sound welds. Inspection and measuring tools. Finally, every joint and dimension must be verified by QA, QC. Inspection tools. Vernier caliper, bevel gauge, and weld gauge. Measuring tape, profile gauge, and straight edge. Dial gauge, level, laser for alignment. Magnifying glass and flashlight for visual inspection. These tools ensure the fabricated spool meets code tolerances and drawing dimensions. So friends, these are the main tools and equipment used in piping fabrication, from marking to inspection. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to perform marking and cutting practically step by step. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Technical Studies for daily fabrication lessons. In the next video, we will learn, pipe marking, and cutting.